Next let's define the pre-stress for the girders. For that I'll go to load temperature pre-stress. So in Midas Civil pre-stressing is done in three steps. First is the tenant property definition and then you define the tenant profile and then the tenant pre-stress for the profile. So I'll click on tenant property first. I'll click add. Give the name as tenant. So you can select the tenant type whether it's pre-tension, post-tension or external. I'll select post-tension and the material property as tenon. So I'll click this three dot button, select the diameter as 15.2, give the strands as eight numbers. So the area would be automatically calculated by the program. I'll give the duct diameter as 0 0.09, select CVFI P1990, and rest all the parameters. I'll make it default. If you want to change, you can change them. I'll click OK. So this gets added to the tenant property. Click close. Now I'll click on tenant profile. Click add. So this dialog box opens up first. I'll give a name of, as girder one. Tenon one. So I'll define the profile of girder one, the tenon one. I'll select the property as tenon. For assigned elements, I need to select the girder one of the first span. So I'll click on span one girders from the group. I'll activate to left view. I'll make this as none. I'll select the first girder. So the assigned elements would be updated. I'll change the input type to 3D and curve type to round. So this is and the reference axis to elements. To see all these details, you can press F1. So this would open up our online help manual of Midas Civil. So you can refer the parameters and the definitions and the explanation. So here you have element is selected as a reference axis. So all this uh, explains the nomenclature that the software follows. So next step is to give the coordinates of the tendon for the, te uh, for the first tendon of the girder one. So for that I already have the cable coordinates, so the coordinates of the tendons are fixed. So for girder 1, tendon 1 and tendon 2, tendon 3 left, tendon 3 right, so 4 tendons for one girder and the, I'll assume that this cable coordinates would be same for all of the girders. So I'll go back to my model. So you can directly copy paste the coordinates. So in Midas Civil everything is Excel compatible. So you can directly copy paste from the Excel. So I'll paste it. So the coordinate uh, the coordinates are updated now. Be careful with the units. So those are in meters, and this is a half profile of the ten of the tendon of the girder. So for that. The point of symmetry I'll keep it as last and make symmetric tendon. So this would make up the other half of the symmetric tendon. So 29 points have been generated to profile this tendon. So if you don't see this OK and uh, this options you can minimize from here. So here it will ask you for the profile insertion point of this tendon. So for that I can select this element. So one element. So at end of that element the tendon would start and the x direction is from i to j and these are all the other parameters I'll click apply similarly I'll give the profile of the second tendon of the girder one so assigned elements would be same so I'll delete these coordinates I'll copy the coordinates of the second tendon. I'll paste it. Make symmetric. Minimize. And the profile insertion point would uh, be same for this girder. I'll click on apply. Now I'll change this to tendon 3L. Delete these coordinates. Paste them. The 
I'll click apply. Similarly, I'll do it for the right tenon. Control C, Control V, and I'll click OK. So these are the four tendons. You can select all of them by pressing shift and selecting all. So these are all the tendons. So we can turn on the section, click left view. So this is how this tendons are. So this would be my G1, T1, second tendon, left tendon and the right tendon. So if you see the front view, this is how it looks. So as the tendon locations for each girder is same, so I'll, as I'll assume it, them to be same. So I can quickly copy these tendon profiles to the other girders. So I'll select all and click on copy. So mode is copy. Click on equal distance. I'll give the distance as 0, 3, comma 0. Then I'll click OK. So you can see for the second girder, the tendons have been copied from the first girder. So this is how it's very simple to copy the tendons I'll rename them to girder 2 just renaming them Okay, that's done. Now I'll copy this girder two tendons to the other tendon. Click OK. So I'll rename them to girder three. Okay, so you can select all of them to display. So this is of the tendons for the first pan, for the three girders would look like. So I'm going to copy this, this all the tendons to the next pan. For that I'll activate all. I'll select all of these tendons, copy, an equal distance. I'll enter the distance as 22.84 comma 0 comma 0 then I'll click OK so if you select all of these tenants so the tenants which are named as copy would be the second span tenants so you can see from the left view this is how the tenants would look like for the whole of the bridge click close Next, I'll apply the tendon pre-stress loads onto the tendons that I've defined. So I'll click on tendon pre-stress, click on pre-stress loads. Now this is crucial, which is the load group name. So first, I'll select span 1, PS1, which indicates the span 1 and the first layer of pre-stressing. So in this layer of pre-stressing, 
So my first tendons of three girders would be stressed at once. So I'll select G1, T1, G1, T2, sorry it would be girder 2 and the tendon 1. Similarly, girder 3 and the tendon 1. So this first layer of tendons would be stressed once. So that's why I'm grouping it under span 1 PS1. I'll give the both side jacking. And for this, I'll change this to Newton mm to give the stress as 3095 MPA. And this indicates the grouting which would be done after uh, one stage. This means if in this stage uh, the stressing would be done and if you give it one in the next stage the grouting would uh, occur so I'll click add similarly second set of pre-stressing I'll change it to span 1 PS2 I'll unselect them and select G1 T2 the third girder second tendon and then I'll click add I'll unselect them change this to span 1 PS3 so where my left and right tendons would be stressed for each of the girders at once so I'll select G1 T3L So the left and right tendons of the girder 1 and the girder 2 and girder 3 I've selected in the third layer of my pre-stressing. I'll click add. Now I'll do the span 2 PS1 first layers pre-stressing. I'll unselect all of them. Now I'll select first tendons of the girders. So the copy ones are the second span tendons. Click add. Similarly for the second layer of the pre-stressing of the span 2, unselect them. So I'll click add. Similarly for the third set of pre-stressing. So this would come up in the third set of pre-stressing for the span 2. I'll click add. So now I'm done with the uh, pre-stressing and the grouping. I'll click close. So this pre-stressing load application can also be done in the tabular format. I'll click on right click and go to tables. So this opens the table format. So you can quickly change this load groups rather than selecting uh, minutely from the options so you can directly change them copy back to the excel and change or you can change it over here